Hey guys and welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Today I have an exciting and essential topic lined up for you. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of integrating Sophos with Exchange Online so that you can ensure all your incoming and outgoing emails are thoroughly scanned for any potential threats. When we create a Microsoft 365 channel, we get Exchange Online Protection by default. Exchange Online Protection or EOP scans all incoming and outgoing emails and it protects our organization from receiving or sending spam, malware or any other malicious content. However, with cyber attacks being more sophisticated, we need an extra line of defense to protect emails. There are multiple third party solutions available that can be used for the email security along with Exchange Online Protection. One of these email security solutions is Sophos. Sophos email security is a cybersecurity solution that is designed to protect organizations from multiple types of email based threats. When we integrate Sophos with Exchange Online and when we send an email from Microsoft 365 channel to Internet, that email is first scanned by Exchange Online Protection. After email is scanned by Exchange Online Protection, email is routed to Sophos with the help of outbound connector. Then Sophos will scan the email and it will route the email to Internet. And when an email is sent from Internet to your Microsoft 365 organization, that email is first delivered to Sophos because when we integrate Sophos with Exchange Online Protection, we point MX record to Sophos. Sophos scans the email if it finds email is spam, fish or it has any other type of malicious content, it blocks the email. And if email is legitimate, then email is handed over to Exchange Online Protection. Exchange Online Protection receives this email from Sophos over the inbound connector. EOP scans the email. If it finds the email is legitimate, email is delivered to the mailbox. The connectors that we create between Exchange Online Protection and Sophos, inbound and outbound connectors, these connectors are partner organization connectors. If you want to learn Exchange Online connectors in detail, I have mentioned a link for that video in description. You can go through that after this video. So let's move towards our lab and let me show you step by step how to integrate Sophos with Exchange Online. You can either purchase Sophos email security or you can use it for 30 days as a free trial. Once you have access to Sophos dashboard, the first step that you need to do is we need to verify our domain in Sophos so that Sophos can scan all incoming and outgoing emails. Those are sent to or from these domains. But this doesn't mean you don't have to verify domains in Microsoft 365 tenant. You will verify domains in your tenant, but in Sophos as well, you need to verify the domains to prove the ownership of your domains. To verify domain in Sophos, you will go to email security. You will go to settings and then click verify domains. Click add domain and here you will type the domain name that is already verified in your Microsoft 365 tenant. Click save and then you need to copy this TXT value and you need to prove the ownership of this domain by creating a TXT record on your domain provider portal. Under DNS records, add new record and we will create one TXT record. Under value, we will paste the value that we copied from here. TTL will be one hour and click save. Now go back to Sophos and click verify. So it says domain verified, click OK. If you get an error, wait for some time and click verify again. So we have proved ownership of this domain in Sophos and let me show you the same domain in my tenant also. You can see the same domain is already verified and all the DNS records are published in Microsoft 365 tenant. Now the next step is we need to add our users in Sophos that we want to protect. This is an important step because if you do not add users in Sophos, Sophos will not process any email for that particular user. To add users in Sophos, you will go to Sophos dashboard. Under email security, you will go to mailboxes and click add. If you have few users in your tenant, you can add them manually one by one. But if you have a large number of users, then you can import those users with the help of CSV file. If you want to add users in bulk, you will create one CSV file and then you will click import mailboxes and aliases and then you will browse to that CSV file and click add. 
This way you can bulk import users in Sophos. But for this demo, I'm going to add one particular user. So I'll click add and I'll click add mailbox. Under mailbox type, you will select user. However, you can add distribution list and public folder as well because we use distribution list and public folders for the emails. But since I'm adding a user, so mailbox type will be user and name will be the display name of the user. And here I'll type the email address of the mailbox that exists in my tenant. So once you add the information, click save. If you want to add another, you can click save and add another. I want to add only one, so I'll click save. So we can see this user is added in Sophos. Now all the emails, those will be sent from this mailbox or will be received by this mailbox will be scanned by Sophos. Now the next step is we will configure Sophos as email gateway. So under email security, we will go to settings and we will go to domain settings or status. Click set up email gateway settings. And here you will type your domain again that you're using in your tenant. Click verify domain ownership. Copy this value. Go back to your domain provider portal. You need to create one more TXT record to verify this value as well. And under value, paste the value. TTL will be one hour and click save. Now go back to Sophos and click verify. So domain ownership is verified again. Click close under direction. We will select inbound and outbound inbound destination will be MX and under MX you will type the MX record of your domain. So for that you will go to your domain. If you do not know what is the MX record, you will click the domain. Go to DNS records, click MX record and copy this value. Go back to Sophos and paste the value here port will be 25 and under outbound gateway you will select Microsoft Office 365 click save now you need to open one notepad and you will copy these values we will be using this value while creating MX record and the connectors same way these are for the inbound and these settings are for outbound so you need to copy both values and paste it on notepad so here you can see we have two MX record values. That means we will create two MX records. We have IP address range as well. We will use this IP address range in inbound connector and we have fully qualified domain name of Sophos. We will use this fully qualified domain in outbound connector. So now we will go to exchange admin center and we will create one inbound connector. So you will go to mail flow connectors, add a connector. Connection from will be partner organization and connection to will be Office 365 by default. So this will be inbound connector that will be used to receive emails from Sophos to Office 365. Click next and give it a name. For example, from Sophos to Office 365. Make sure this is set to turn it on and click next. Under authenticating sent email, you will select by verifying that the sender domain matches one of the following domains. And here you will type asterisk, click add and click next. Under security restrictions, make sure reject email messages if they are not sent over TLS is checked. And here you will check this option that says reject email messages if they are not sent from within this IP address range. Now here you will copy this IP address range and you will paste this IP address range here and click plus. This IP address range is for Sophos. It says reject email messages if they are not sent from these IP or these IP address range. So once you add the IP range, click next, review the connector and click create connector. I will share this IP range with you in description. You can copy it from there. Once you are done, click done. So we have created inbound connector. Now the next step is we will point MX record to Sophos so that any email that is sent from internet or from external domains will be delivered to Sophos first. And from Sophos, it will be routed to Microsoft 365 tenant with the help of this inbound connector. So we will go to domain provider portal. So as I said earlier, we need to create two MX records. So first, let me delete this. MX record click add new record 
select Amex. Name will be at priority. You can give it 10 or any value. Go back to Notepad and copy the first value and paste this value here. Select TTL one hour, click save. Same way we will create one more MX record. At this time priority will be 20 and copy the second value for MX record. Paste the value TTL will be one hour, click save. With this we have configured inbound email flow with Sophos and exchange online protection and now we will configure outbound email flow so we will go to exchange admin center under connectors add a connector and this time we will create one outbound connector so this will be connection from office 365 to partner organization because outbound connector will be used to route emails from office 365 to Sophos Click next and here give it a name. For example, from Office 365 to Sophos and make sure this is set to turn it on and click next. Under use of connector, we need to specify what sort of emails we want to route through Sophos. Here we have two options. When I have a transport rule to redirect emails to connector or I can simply specify my domains here. You can create a transport rule. You can specify conditions like if email is sent from this domain of my organization, I want to route these emails through this connector. So I can route only specific emails through this connector. But if I want to route all outgoing emails to Sophos, I can simply add a strict click add and click next. Under routing, you will select route email through the smart host. And here you will copy this value, the fully qualified domain name of Sophos and paste this value here. Click plus and click next. Under security restrictions, make sure TLS option is checked and you will select any digital certificate, including self signed certificates. Click next. Under validation email, you will type an email address of any external domain. So I'll type here one of the external domain email address. Click plus and click validate. And once connector is validated, review the settings and click create connector and click done. Now the next step that we need to do is we need to modify the SPF record. Earlier we were sending emails from Exchange Online and Exchange Online Protection was scanning the emails. But now we will route emails to Sophos and Sophos will send these emails to Internet. So we need to add Sophos Gateway within SPF record. As you can see here in this SPF record, I have specified only Exchange Online Protection. So I will modify this record and here I'll type this value. In this value, we have Exchange Online Protection SPF and we have Sophos Gateway as well. So we will copy this value. I'll paste this value in the description as well. You can copy it from there. So let me modify this and click Save. So the configuration is almost done, but there is one more step that we need to do. We need to allow Sophos in Exchange Online Protection so that Exchange Online Protection can trust the emails. Those will be sent from Sophos to EOP. But before it, let's test the email flow. So I'm going to test this email flow with external user that is Outlook.com user. Here I'm logged in with Outlook.com and here in Firefox, I'm logged in with one of the users of my tenant that is test at office365concepts.com. So I'll send one email to Outlook and from Outlook, I'll send one email to my tenant. So first, let me send one email to Outlook user. Click send and let's send one email from Outlook to my tenant. So here we can see we have received email already and let's open the email header. Go to EXRCA. And go to message analyzer. Paste email header, click analyze header. So here we can see this email is sent 
and then it was delivered to Sophos and from Sophos it is delivered to EOP and then it is further processed. Now let's go to test user. So we do not see this email in inbox but we can see this email in junk email folder and the reason is EOP is not trusting the emails those are sent from Sophos. If you'll go to email header of this particular email Let's go back to message analyzer. Now here we can see this email was sent. Then it was delivered to Sophos and from Sophos it was delivered to EOP. Now the emails those are routed from Sophos to EOP are going to junk folder. There are two ways you can allow Sophos in EOP. The first way is you can allow Sophos IP addresses in connection filter in EOP or you can create a mail flow rule to bypass spam filtering on emails those are sent from Sophos to EOP. Let me show you both ways. Go to Microsoft 365 admin center and go to security. Scroll these options down and go to policies and rules. Threat policies, anti-spam, click connection filter policy, edit connection filter policy and under always allow messages, you will copy this IP address range that is Sophos delivery IPs and you will paste this value here and click save. Click close. Now this is the first way you can allow Sophos in EOP. The other way is you will go to exchange admin center. You will go to rules under mail flow, add a rule, create a new rule, give it a name, for example, Sophos. Apply this rule if apply to all messages. Action will be Modify the message properties. Here you will select set the spam confidence level. And here you will select bypass spam filtering. Click save and create this rule. This way you can allow Sophos in EOP. So either you can create a mail flow rule or you can allow IP address range in connection filter policy. So let's test incoming email flow again. Let me send one more email to the same user in my tenant which is test at office365concepts.com test2 and click send. Let's go to the user mailbox and here we can see now we have received the email in inbox. So with this we have successfully integrated Sophos with Exchange Online Protection. Now your organization has an extra layer of protection against email threats phishing attacks and malicious content. If you found this video helpful and valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions or need further assistance, please write in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.